Click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Persia embraced the Islamic religion and became a part of the powerful Islamic nation. And from this nation, lots of Islamic scientists came out. Like our scientist, who belongs to the Khorasm city. Which is one of the cities located in Persia, he is Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, one of the most famous mathematicians in the world. Let's go Muhammad. We have to finish to quickly catch the caravan. I'm more concerned with catching up with the tribe than you, Dad. As I have always dreamed of traveling to Baghdad. There, I will be seeking after knowledge. Your willingness to learn is one of the reasons that made me think seriously about moving to live in Baghdad. Also, job opportunities there are better than the opportunities that are available in this small town. Oh Muhammad, oh Muhammad. Did you take any money from the money parcel that was on the table? No, mother. There was 150 dinars in the money parcel, and I bought some food that would last for the trip for 45 dinars. But now there is only 90 dinars in the money parcel. This means that there is 15 dinars missing. Yes. Wait a minute. You bought some food for 45 dinars, then we paid the porter 2 dinars, to deliver what we bought to the house, and we spent 3 dinars to buy a gunny sack to fill it with food. Did you forget? We are still missing 10 dinars. Isn't it the caravan's fare? Yes, I remember. I took it without telling you, I'm a Muhammad. Tell me next time so that I wouldn't think that I'm the one who lost it. How did you know about that, Muhammad? I didn't know. I just thought about the stuff on which we had spent the money, and I did my calculations to reach to this rational conclusion. Smart. Indeed you are smart, Muhammad. You will certainly have a better chance in Baghdad. The al Khwarizmi didn't waste any time. And as soon as he arrived to Baghdad, he started acquiring knowledge. Day after day, his knowledge grew, and his perceptions developed. You are almost done with all the materials that were written by the Greek scientists. In arithmetic and mathematics. Can you give me a final test, teacher? And what do you want me to test you in? In Diophantine equations. The equations of the Greek scientist, Diophantus. And did you read what he had written in arithmetic and algebra? Yes. After I finish this class, I go to another teacher who only teaches me what Diophantus wrote. How can I possibly be interested in algebra and arithmetic, without studying the achievements of the first man who wrote in this science? Okay, I will write an equation for you. And I hope you can solve it. Come on, you may start now. Okay. Here you go, sir. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Amazing, amazing. Your answer is correct. I didn't expect that you will be that good in this field of science. I've good news for you, Muhammad. Obviously, you will surpass your teachers. I can tell this from my experience. If I didn't have any teachers, I wouldn't be successful. We must give credit where credit is due, sir. God bless you and your knowledge, Muhammad. In Baghdad, there was another opportunity waiting for al khwarizmi to seek knowledge to his satisfaction. May Allah's peace be upon you. May Allah's peace, mercy and blessing be upon you. Welcome, O oh hard-working young man. Now you know me very well, sir. I won't deserve to be responsible for such a huge library. 
like the house of wisdom. If I don't notice someone who comes to the library very frequently like you do. What's your name, young man? Muhammad. Muhammad ibn Musa al Khwarizmi. Oh, from Khwarizm. Great. Great. What's so great about it? As long as you gone through the trouble to come all the way here. And considering your frequent and regular visits to the House of Wisdom, then I can tell that you will become an outstanding student if not a famous scientist. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, sir. I often hear nice compliments like this, but what really matters is to not to let these words give me a sense of arrogance or contentment, but to make me feel that the trust that those around me have put in me is a huge responsibility. Amazing. These are wise words indeed. I don't want to delay you more than that. Please go ahead Muhammad. Go ahead. Muhammad started to read all the scientific subjects that he was interested in. And he became the most famous the House of Wisdom goers. With the passage of time, he began to write his thesis in algebra and arithmetic. Those thesis that increased his fame to the point that his name reached the royal court of Caliph, al mamun So you're Muhammad al khwarizmi Yes, your highness. I heard a lot about you. Some good things and other bad things. I'm interested in hearing the bad things first, your highness. As I may have done something wrong and no one informed me about it, or maybe someone mistrusted me, so, I will need to defend myself <laughs> against him. No. I will start with the good things. Go ahead, your highness. I was notified that despite your young age, you excelled in arithmetic, mathematics, and algebra, and you achieved what no one else could achieve before you. Especially that you had studied the knowledge of the Greeks and Indians and their achievements in this field of science. Praise be to Allah. It all happened thanks Allah's bless. As for the bad things, I was informed that you propose theories in algebra which contradict the familiar methods of arithmetic, and lots of mathematicians criticize you about it. Allow me to defend myself, your highness. Go ahead. In ancient times, commercial transaction was done through barter. A camel owner would give a she-camel to someone who has food, to buy food from him, and the one who has food gives some to a wool owner in exchange for taking some wool, and so on. Then came the emergence of money, which facilitated the process of buying and selling for people. And what does this have to do with what I told you about the scientist's opinion about your theories? It's the same thing, your highness. How? It is certain that, what happened after the emergence of money is that some people thought that it was a bad idea, they kept holding on to their habit of bartering, and refused to deal with money. However, they either submitted to using it eventually, or that the next generation stopped bartering goods in a time when using money spread among people. I still don't understand the relationship between the two matters. Your Highness, there is always a type of people who rise against any new idea, and they think that holding on to everything from the past is safer and better. They fear new things just because they are new. I'm a man of knowledge, your highness, and I know what I'm saying. I'm also aware that it might harm people if it isn't true. As people trust what scientists say. However, I have confidence in what I say, and I don't declare it, until after I experiment a lot. You are very organized in your thoughts and responses. I'm a mathematician, sir. And if I weren't organized in my thoughts, and clear in my ideas, then I wouldn't succeed in this field of science. So, I was right about what I was planning to do. What is it, your highness? Oh, Quarizami. You will be in charge of the House of Wisdom. What? Yes. You're the best person for this position, so far. And I believe that a mentality like yours is more qualified to get the benefits out of the books that you will find in my private closet. Thank you, your highness. Thank you for this precious trust. Caliph al mamun trusted al khwarizmi and he gave him the right to read the books that were in his closet.
Al-Khwarizmi Al took the most out of these books, as he excelled in mathematics. He also was able to master geography, astronomy, and he mastered the science of history as well. Adding to that, his previous knowledge of the Greek and Indian knowledge, which made Caliph trust him even more. Prepare yourself for the trip, O oh, Khwarezmi. Where to, your highness? I want to send some expeditions to some of the countries that became part of the nation recently. We don't know much about these nations, and you are the one who I trust the most to help us if you go and see these countries. And you can't deny that you will also get some benefits from such a trip. Of course, your highness. It's a great opportunity. One which may not come again. <laughs> okay, you will get going early in the morning. Go ahead and get some rest. Praise be to Allah. Praise be to Allah. Al-Khwarizmi Al has proven that the more knowledge a person gets, the more eager he becomes to learn even more. So will this journey really be useful to him? What will Al-Khwarizmi add to science? And how will he help people with his knowledge?